What's up guys, welcome back. Football season's in full swing and that means you guys need some more delicious game day appetizers. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make this fantastic smoked queso dip. We're using three different cheeses for this dip along with some ground beef and chorizo and to make it even more flavorful, we're doing it on my brand new smoker. But before we get into the recipe, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen, let's make it happen. First things first, let's take a look at these ingredients. Here we have a half pound of beef chorizo. For my pork patrol folks out there, this is beef. We also have a half pound of lean ground beef as well. We've got a little half and half. You can use milk or heavy cream to thin things out. We're going with both Velveeta cheeses today, along with some pepper jack to bring a little spice to the party. Speaking of spice, we got a couple jalapenos, onion, cilantro, some garlic paste, black beans, and a couple cans of Rotel. And this episode is sponsored by HelloFresh. Do you have a pack schedule this fall? Well, HelloFresh has meals covered with a weekly selection of 30 plus recipes and 70 plus convenience items all delivered to your door. Enjoy fall's freshest flavors. HelloFresh recipes include ripe, just picked produce that travels from the farm to your door in less than a week. And what I love the most is that HelloFresh works with your schedule. The plans are flexible and you can change your meal preference, update your delivery day, and even change your address with just a few taps on the Hello fresh app. Getting back into the fall season can be busy, but weeknights can be made so much easier with foolproof step-by-step -step recipes ready in around 30 minutes or less. HelloFresh has definitely made my life a whole lot easier lately, and I think it'll do the same for you. So go to HelloFresh.com and use the code MrMakeItHappen65 for 65% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com, code MrMakeItHappen65 for 65% off plus free shipping. All right, so for this recipe, we're only gonna need about half of a large onion. That's what we got here today. One sweet onion, you can use a white onion, whatever you got is fine. We're gonna give it a nice rough chop. If you haven't gotten yourself one of these chef knives just yet, you can grab yours via the link in my description box. We'll go ahead and dice up this onion. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the jalapeno. Me, I'm kind of a punk when it comes to spice, so I'm gonna remove the seeds to make it a little less spicy. You can do the same, or if you're a savage and you want it extra spicy, feel free to leave those seeds in there. Now, for those of you guys that don't want any spice at all, then you can leave out the jalapenos and just go in with some red and green bell pepper if you want to. If you don't like peppers, guess what? You can leave those out too and just use the onion. This recipe is super customizable. So if you have, you know, your own favorite cheese blend that you want to use, then by all means, feel free to use that. But today we're keeping it pretty simple. I'm gonna dice up the jalapeno nice and fine, about the same size as the onion. We're gonna dice up some cilantro and get out there to the grill. So as you can see, we have two jalapenos diced with the seeds removed. We have half of an onion diced, uh, about a quarter cup of cilantro. As for the cheese, we have eight ounces of yellow Velveeta, eight ounces of white Velveeta, and eight ounces of pepper jack. Cubing it up this way is gonna help allow it to melt a lot faster, making your cook time a little bit quicker as well. So in a skillet over medium heat, we're gonna get the party started with a little avocado oil, teaspoon or two. Then we're gonna begin cooking our meat here. We have a half pound of lean ground beef and a half pound of beef chorizo. The chorizo is gonna to add tons of authentic flavor. There's a lot of cumin in there. There's some chipotle, chili powder, things of that nature. That's gonna flavor the dip quite a bit. We'll cover the other seasonings here in just a moment, but you wanna get in there with a spatula and just break this up. So as you can see, all that flavor from the chorizo has made its way into the bottom of our skillet, which is exactly what we wanna see. Now, my friends, it's time to go on with the onions and the jalapeno. Let them sweat down and get nice and tender. Then we'll add in some garlic, a little cilantro, season this up.
The next guest to arrive to the flavor party is two teaspoons of garlic paste or fresh garlic, whatever floats your boat. We'll give that a mix to combine. Now as for our seasonings, we have one packet of sazon, some chili powder, some smoked paprika, a little extra cumin. Mix that in. I'm gonna go ahead and add my black beans so they can begin cooking. I mean, they're already cooked, but they'll start getting tender for us. Quarter cup of cilantro. And we're in good shape. Once the meat is fully cooked, you can taste for seasoning, make any adjustments that you need. If it's too spicy, you can add a little extra heavy cream a little later or some cream cheese to kind of cut through some of that spice. But if you like it spicy, you could always add a little bit of cayenne, a little extra jalapeno. Customize it to your palate. Now, since we're going on to the grill with this, I'm using a foil pan for easy cleanup. We're gonna go ahead and add in our cheese. Again, we got the Velveeta, we got the pepper jack. Whatever cheese you like, guys, you can go down with that. We're also gonna add one can of Rotel. I'm gonna save the rest of it for garnish at the end. Then last but not least, all of that delicious chorizo, ground beef, black beans, all the seasoning. I'm gonna go right on top. And then we're gonna pop this right on the grill at 350 to 400 until everything comes together. Get some of that grill flavor, some of that smoke flavor. All right, so we got the Traeger fired up to 375. Got some good smoke rolling. Gonna place the queso dip right on the grill. Let it smoke away until everything melts and incorporates. We'll be back in about 15 to 20 minutes to go ahead and stir it and mix everything to combine. All right, so after about 20 minutes, it's not gonna be the prettiest dip in America, but it's starting to come together. As you can see, the cheese is beginning to melt. You just wanna get in there every so often and stir everything around to incorporate. Make sure everything's getting nice and combined. It's already starting to look good though. Just fold those tomatoes in there, mix the cheese around. All right guys, so it's been about 30 minutes. This is the point I like to add about a quarter cup or so of heavy cream. This is just gonna thin things out a little bit because our cheese dip is pretty thick at this point. A little milk, a little heavy cream, a little half and half, really whatever you got will help to thin it out just a little bit. So just mix that in, give it another 10, 15 minutes. And we'll be ready to plate this up and get ourselves a taste test. And this is how we're looking when it comes fresh off the smoker. Oh man, I'm gonna be honest guys, this is my weakness right here. So when your boy's trying to be on a diet and somebody breaks out any kind of chips and dip, but particularly queso dip, I'm in trouble. All right, so we went ahead and plated this up on a platter with a nice bowl. Since my wife's on dish duty today, I thought why the hell not? A little extra Rotel right on top. A little fresh diced cilantro for a pop of color. The only thing left to do is get in here for a taste test. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. Brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me guys, looking good. I found a chip and I'm digging in. Not gonna be shy either. Moment of truth. Mm. 